Hey everyone, it's Chris Shelley and we're back with another iRacing Fundamentals video. This time we're talking about the grip circle. This is also known as friction circle or grip budget or traction circle. It's all talking about the same physical concept as far as how much grip your tires and your car has. So in this video we're going to talk about some of the physics behind that. We're going to talk about how steering, throttle, and braking uses up this grip circle and the grip your car has. We're going to talk about the techniques that you need to apply in order to get faster lap times. So to start, we're going to talk about the frictional forces from the tires. Uh, the as we've talked about in a previous video, your car is turning, accelerating, braking because of the tires and the forces through the tires. Uh, the tires have a limited amount of grip. There is a certain point where you start actually doing less grip by trying to put more force through the tires. I'm going to throw that graph on the screen with an equation that we discussed in one of my earlier videos as well. So this is the friction coefficient times the normal force is equal to the frictional force. But an important thing to note is that once you go past a certain amount of force, you're actually the tires will start to slide because you've over exceeded the limit of the grip of the tires. When you do that, you, your friction coefficient goes down and you get less overall grip. This is why it's better for your car to remain in traction and the tires to not move too much relative to the surface. So you you want to get, be not sliding, generally speaking. The more sliding you're doing, the lower your friction coefficient goes down. But you also want to make sure you're not going too slow. If you're going too slow, you're not using up all the force available to you. So any action you do whether it's braking, whether it's steering, whether it's using throttle and gassing up, that's going to rely on friction and you're using the friction circle and you want to be within the friction circle to do each of those most efficiently. As I throw the diagram here on the screen, you can see going up, going forward, that would be your throttle using gas pedal. You're turning, you're going left or right. And then if you're braking, you're going down or backwards. That's how you're applying the force. Notice it's a circle. So you can't do your full potential for, for braking and your full potential for turning. You can't do your full potential for, for throttle and do your full potential for steering, for turning. This is why it's a circle, right? You have to smoothly transition between your inputs to make sure you're staying within the circle. If you go over the circle, you're gonna lose grip and start sliding your tires. And, you, and when you slide your tires, that grip just goes way down. So it's trade-offs is what it is. If you don't take a trade-off and you ask too much of the car, you ask too much of the tires, you're gonna lose grip. That could mean understeer or oversteer if you're lacking in turning. That could mean rear wheel spin, uh, not and if you're just using too much gas, and then that could mean a brake lock, like your wheels lock up because you're using too much brakes. All right, so I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the telemetry up on the screen. Now this telemetry should show us exactly where, approximately where on the traction circle we are. Now just remember that because it's going off of the weight. That means accelerating is going to be going backwards. Everything's going to be inverted. So turning left is going to mean more right weight. So as you're going to turn one, you're going to be easing off the off the throttle and using a little brake. Now when you brake, you're all going to be not using too much brake because the car is already throwing a lot of weight forward as you're off the throttle. And you're doing that smooth transition from brake to applying throttle and when you're applying the throttle force, you're going to straighten out the car, car coming off the corner. Same thing for three and four. Brake, not too much because you're doing a lot of turning. It's a very smooth turn. You're spending a lot of time not really going in straight. You're going very much for a big arc. And you're easing into the throttle, just easing into the throttle. That's how you do it. You don't want to do too much of one thing at one time. The more, the more smooth and the more and the more gentle you are transitioning between these, the better job you are doing of not exceeding the, the traction limit. Now keep in mind, you want to you want to be at the limit. You don't want to give up free time. You don't want to give up free speed, but you also don't want to overdo it and lose grip. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Shelley. Hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more and check out my other content in the, on my channel. See you guys later.